Hey guys, this is Christy from Zen 10 Lotus Tarot. I'm glad to be here with you tonight. Just wanted to get on here because I got cut off the other night. Of course, my phone died. Go figure. Um, while I was doing the video for all signs, it cut off right at Pisces. So, you guys got gypped, Pisces. I'm sorry. So we're going to do a whole reading just for you tonight. Um, I've been trying to tap into my Pisces peeps and see what I can come up with. Um, I've meditated and shuffled the cards, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So just please do me a favor, and if you see this video, like it, subscribe. You know, I'm trying to build this thing. Um, it's slow moving like a turtle, kind of like me. Um, but yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to build this we're going to build this bitch, right? So, Pisces, this one's for you. I'm sorry about the other night. Ooh, hoo -hoo. that's a good start, Pisces. I love the Six of Cups. It's like my one of my favorite cards in this deck. And you know why? Because it's like, it's like that playful, fun, nostalgic, past life, funness, connection. I don't know. It's just a good feeling. Um, could be dealing with somebody from your past. <clears throat> somebody you feel super warm and cozy and fuzzy with. I like that. Could also be dealing with a Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Where are you going? Where are you going, Pisces? You traveling? So I feel like, Pisces, that you've been um, either connecting with people from your past or somebody from your past or somebody you feel like you have a soul mate connection with. Um, you feel super playful around this person. They could be sort of like, um, like this person who's stable, um, committed. Just like a kind of like a hard worker, super nurturing, super caring and giving. Um, or this, you know, this person is somebody you see as like a partner, you know, somebody that could be like the wife, mother, whatever, like stable, committed partner. Um, you have all this momentum like behind your connection that makes you want to go either travel towards them or you're like ready to get in your car and ride over there and see them because um, you have this huge cup of love that you want to give to this person and again you could be dealing with um, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or that could be your energy or you could also be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn Earth sign um, maybe a Libra or a Taurus as well um, or any of those signs in their charts. Um, you want to go moving towards them and offer them your cup of love. Um, you want a new beginning in love. You feel like this would be justice served if you did. Like you feel like, um, that this person brings you balance and, um, good karma. And you see this person like, kind of like a boss lady like she is super committed to everything that she's involved in like it doesn't matter if it's being a mom if it's being a friend if it's being a lover um she's she's the nurturer she's the care she's the divine feminine or masculine depending on which gender and again the genders are fluid here um but you're definitely feeling super nostalgic about this person um, and you want to start a new cycle in your life. Um, 
going to clarify some of these cards so we can see what's going on. Dive a little deeper. Um, I feel like that's pretty general, so... You could be, um, <clears throat> you could be married to this person. Um, they could be at a distance from you and you're thinking about traveling towards that person or you want that person to travel towards you. Um, it's like you go back and forth juggling in your mind of like, is this person my person or, um, or you might be doing a lot of fighting and having conflict with one another. Um, so you kind of go back and forth between these feelings of nostalgia and then the feelings of like the conflict and the chaos that surrounds your um, connection, whether it's between you and the other person or just um, interference of other people in your connection as well. Um, but you feel like you feel like you've put a lot of time, effort, and energy into this person. Um, again, you guys could be actually married um, because we have the King and Queen of Pentacles here, which is a married couple. You know, perfect. You know, the perfect match for one another. Um, so you may be married, but it's like this person. You either want to travel. Maybe you guys are separated. Maybe you're in separation and you want to travel towards this person or you want to have this person travel towards you. You have all this momentum because you want to have a new beginning in love with this person. Um, you feel like justice would be served in the situation if that were the case. Um, You might have experienced, like again, this is obviously maybe somebody from your past in some way. You're either in separation um, or you were at one point in a committed relationship with this person, but there was some sort of heartbreak that happened and what is this Three of Swords spirit? What's the Three of Swords? Some sort of deception. Um, somebody could have had a lot of options. Um, or there may be some confusion surrounding deception. Maybe somebody never really got clarity on heartbreak and deception in this relationship. Um, but you love this person. You do have love for this person. Um, you want to come rushing in and fight for this. But there's like uh, this part of you that feels like you go back and forth in your head. Like, do I want to fight for this because we have so many problems? <laughs> like, or in the past we've had so much conflict and chaos. Like, what, maybe I should just move on to a new love. You know what I mean? That's where you're at with it. Like, um, what is this justice card? I'm curious. Yeah, you're at a crossroads with this marriage. Um, you guys are definitely not together at this point in time. Um, but you definitely are not sure whether you want to take this, you know, and start over. Or you just want to basically end the marriage. Um, clarify the Four of Wands and the Two of Wands. Or end the commitment in some way or maybe that's the other person feeling that way but 
would you like keep an eye on this person? Like if you have social media or you have um, some form of being able to watch them from a distance, it's like, uh, so I'm thinking probably social media or something like that. Um, Clarify the page of swords. Um. Clarify the tower. So you, when you watch this person, you go back and forth in your head between wanting to be with them and not wanting to be with them. Remembering things that like, was like, okay, this is the reason that we separated. We fight a lot, um, but you're waiting. Like you are waiting for this person. You um, feel like you want to win at all costs, like you're willing to do whatever to win and I don't know what win means for you if I gotta be honest Pisces because yes there's like this huge cup of love um but some of the other cards are kind of like um a lot of deception a lot of heartbreak um that is the only cup of love just one that that cup this person doesn't um well, I'm sorry, the Six of Cups is here. So you do, but you go back and forth between feeling nostalgic about this person and then also feeling very, like, conflicted about it. Um, it's like you're willing to do whatever it takes to win. And I think maybe, let's let's clarify the Five of Swords just to see. by the Ten of Swords. The energy that I'm picking up is like super, um, super negative energy. I gotta be honest. I don't know if this is a toxic relationship or there's some sort of like, um, it's like it's like you want to do whatever it takes um, to win in the situation. And I don't know if that means win by justice being served with you ending the marriage. Um, or it's like you no longer want to collaborate with this person is, is what's hidden. It's not being said. It's not it's hidden. Um, but you're not saying anything um and i don't know if it's because you have a new love interest with this ace of cups after that information it's like um you may be juggling another person with this person that you are um in in a committed or higher level of commitment with or relationship with and you're not saying anything um but you're at a crossroads it's like you could be watching this other person this cancer pisces scorpio um that you're interested in and but you also don't Like you don't want to, you don't want to see the tower fall, but with your marriage either or this commitment or this level of commitment, um, it's really really yucky energy. To be honest with you, um, it's like you're holding on, 
so that this person or you or the other person is holding on to where like you just can't move on and like that's how they want or you want to win at all costs is that like you have your cake and eat it too basically is what I'm seeing um, it's like you don't want to end this commitment so that the, your person doesn't move on with their life but you also are admiring and watching and um, thinking about having a new love relationship with somebody else <laughs> so I don't know Pisces um, I'm sorry if you're dealing with the situation um, clarify <clears throat> What does Pisces, Pisces, what does he or she feel about this? Decisions, they have a, you have a decision to make. So this Pisces is your energy. Uh, and that's, um, yeah, six of cups, your past. Which is this Ten of Pentacles, um, your marriage, unable to decide what's the right decision. Is this your person? Is this new person your person? Um, the Wheel of Fortune is on your side and it says to take a leap of faith with a new beginning in love move on keep going um, for success and triumph so um, yeah the, it's it's like judgment is going to go in your favor in this matter if you have the strength clarify judgment It's saying to um, defend yourself, to end this cycle, so that you can have your Ten of Cups, <laughs> the truth, the clarity, and the triumph in the situation. Um, wow. I hope, okay. So... Wow, I'm sorry you're dealing with this. You know, this is this is the crapshoot of this little endeavor. Is that um, sometimes we tap into energies that we're not completely, that are not like super great. Um, obviously, if this message does not resonate with you or your situation, then you know it's not yours. You just um, leave it for whoever's message it is for um, this is a collective reading which means that anybody watching this video it could resonate with or not resonate with um, I'm sorry well what's your advice let's ask spirit and I'm gonna get another deck to get some advice for you um, and likely outcome advice Give my Pisces good advice. Look at it from a different perspective. Um, or maybe the other person needs to look at it from a different perspective. Somebody's watching you, for sure. Watching you on social media. Stalking, possibly. Because I have a devil here, which is kind of... Yeah, it's like they see or you see this person that you're watching um, or that is watching you as very like passionate and loving and sexy and um, and then you see your wife or husband <laughs> as this person who's very cold and um, closed off and 
bitter. Yeah, you're exploring your options, Pisces, um, one way or the other. So, um, here's the deal. It's been my experience that um, there may be children involved, and I'm going to actually see. Because the Six of Cups can, can indicate children as well involved. Yeah, you, um, this person that you're dealing with or that you're interested in may be somebody that you work with. Um, <clears throat> it's like you want to visit them, you want to um, be around them, you want to be in their energy. about this person I'm sorry I hate it when I tap into yuck energy I might not even post this video I gotta be honest it's just too low vibe for me. Um, <clears throat> hmm. I gotta think on this one. Um, let me get a uh, song lyrics. <laughs> Maybe we can brighten this up with some music. I don't know. Um, let me just say that uh, I made a little deck here of my favorite music lyrics that give me chills. It's like usually maybe a song that could resonate with the situation. So maybe I can get a little bit more clarification. This seems very confusing, but it's definitely a marriage that is on the rocks. You're separated in some way. Either you guys are not speaking or you're living in different locations. Um, could be a little bit of a distance. There may not be any distance. It may just be that you're in the same house and you're not speaking to one another, literally. Um, and it's like you're sharing this environment with somebody that you don't want to be with. And you are, yeah, because it says living, like living room, like you guys are possibly even living, living with one another and you want to get the F out of there and go towards somebody that you do love or that you have feelings for or that you're watching and you you have a lot of emotion for this person um, you tend to watch them and stalk them a little bit if I'm being honest maybe a little bit of an obsession with the devil I don't know you're um, holding on to the idea of this new love and you may work with that person um, in the distant horizons. You want to make changes so that you can be with this person. You want justice to be served in the situation. And that may even be meaning that you want to get a divorce um, with this person. But I'm going to try some music lyrics to see if we can brighten this up <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. I don't know where, confused about how as well. Just know that these things will never change for us at all. Snow Patrol, chasing cars. So you could be dealing with this person already and actually be sort of in some sort of a relationship with them, um, whether that be emotional, maybe an emotional affair. And trust me, this is like a place of no judgment. <laughs> 
but um, I feel like maybe you're saying, um, you know, like I'm not sure how I would ever get out of this marriage. Maybe you have children and that makes it very difficult. Um, uh, I'm sorry, shit. And then at the bottom is Black Hole Sun, Won't You Come and Wash Away the Rain by Soundgarden, Black Hole Sun. Good one. Let me get one more for you. When you feel so tired but you can't sleep, stuck in reverse, a fix you by Coldplay. So this person might be super loving. It's, I mean, it's a Queen of Cups. It could be another Cancer Pisces Scorpio that you have these feelings for. But um, it's like you're just tired of the situation, I think, and you're not sure what to do. Um, you want this person to fix you. Or they want to fix you in some way. I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, Pisces, we're going to try another reading again later. <laughs> I'm going to upload this, but I'm probably not going to leave it on for long. Just because it's a very, it's a very sad story. And I'm sorry that you're dealing with it. Um, I'm going to pray for you, for sure. Um, so, take care. And uh, we'll be talking soon. Thanks. Bye.